Today we are going to share with you a product called Pan Pastels. And this stuff is really cool. It's basically a dry pastel product in like, um, for, for no other better term, it's like makeup. It's in uh, like a eyeshadow type of a consistency. So what you do with this stuff is uh, there are these special applicators, but I mean, you can use a makeup applicator if you want to, but these are the proper thing that comes with the product. It's called a soft cover. And what it is is it's a little cover for the end of a palette knife. So we got this set of palette knives. They sell pan pastel palette knives, but you don't really have to get the special one that goes with it. You can use any palette knife. And you just slip this cover on over the end and rub it in the pan pastel to pick up some color. It's pretty concentrated too. It's because yeah. if you have worked with chalks, they're very they still come out very light and and they don't give you an intensity of color. Mm -hmm. So what I have is one of my acetate stencils, and we've talked about these before that I used making uh, some flower and leaf designs with my slice machine, and I'm going to use them to stencil off this um, pattern of foliage on my hand. So I'm just going to rub it inside the stencil. And pan pastels come in 80 colors. They come in sets of 10 or 20 or all 80. And they've got, I think 20 of the colors are pure with no tints or shades and then the others are like all tints and shades of the colors. So here is the first of the leaves and then I'm going to go a little bigger this way. Let me just plan this out because I want it to, yeah, I'm going to do this one first so I can fit the other one in the other side. Okay, so just hold it down because you don't want the powder going under your stencil. And you can mix colors too mm -hmm. for a really cool look. Yeah. I bought two colors. I bought this other bright turquoise color so I could try them out and I like them a lot so we'll probably get more. So just plan out your design and you know if you if you're more of a freehand person um, the pan pastels are like, you're, there's a couple videos on YouTube from the company where they're just basically using them like paint. So getting like a canvas and just painting with it as a dry medium rather than a wet paint. So you can do a lot with these pan pastels. So there's another one. And then I think I want this I'm just tapping it out so it doesn't mess up my design. I want this one to come up my hand here, so I'll put that there. And do one more. And you, now, can, you can use your finger too with yeah. this. So you don't have if you don't have a palette knife, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And I think I would probably use like a spray fixative or something because it is a dry medium and I'm going to be doing a lot more with this hand later so I actually have on my work surface here some dollar store hairspray and I think that's what I'm going to use because it's it'll work as a fixative so I'm just going to spritz over this pan pastel very lightly from far away and if you have, um, yeah, my thing isn't working. If you have spray fixative, go ahead and use that because I do think, yeah, it'll blend away if you touch on it too much because what I actually put it on was a piece of canvas that's a little shiny, which means stuff that's dry isn't going to automatically stick to it. So have a lot of fun. This pan pastel stuff is really, really cool. Mm -hmm.